grew up a Cowboys fan. Now playing for now, Johnson, general manager. Always multi Super Bowl member of the Cowboys. 621 to go. Trying to resurrect his professional career. San Antonio up 12 to 6 over San Diego. In the inaugural game of the American Alliance Football League. Let's see. Alliance of American Football League. Alliance of American Football League member. He hands it off, and it's incomplete. Incomplete for San Antonio. They bring up a third and nine. Defender got their hand on that, tipped the ball. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. Nearly intercepted on the play. <laughs> you live stream? Huh? You live stream? Yeah. Just for a minute. I can't show the thing though, so I'm doing voice only. You can't show? That's copyright. He throws it deep, and it's caught by San Antonio. 19 yard pickup on the play. First down. No one's watching me. And I doubt anyone would be looking that up because I didn't know about this till today. And I'm pretty sure there's sites. Websites live streaming it for free, at least for now, too. First down. It's going to be a roll to his right, and it's incomplete on the play. We'll bring up second and ten. 5.06 left in the fourth quarter. San Antonio leads 12 to 6. Quarterbacks crying about the play call or something. He's freaking out that the formation wasn't right, even though the head coach gave him the play. Yeah. Timeout, San Antonio. Beating San Diego 12 to 6 as we go to commercial. Huh? Yep, the Alliance of American Football, inaugural season. One of the first two games on right now, I think. Orlando's playing some of too, but don't have that game. I didn't even know about this till today. I just saw it in the TV listing. It's definitely fun and interesting, though. I mean, the NFL season just ended last Sunday with the Super Bowl. Now we got another, we got this for 10 weeks, and that should bring us to about the draft once this is over for the NFL. I'm enjoying this so far. It's entertaining. San Antonio with the ball, second and ten, at what appears to be the 19-yard line of the fleet. Up by six, they can take a two-possession lead if they get a score here. Takes the snap, deep drop, he's going to float it to, and there's no one in the area. There's a flag on the play. Five minutes left. And the clock stopped at five minutes left. Well, they just dropped another Referees have some interesting jerseys. They got stars and they're like half. I'm waiting on the call. Very 
are two fouls on the play. Intentional grounding against the offense. Number, number five. Illegal formation against the defense. Those penalties offset. Replay the down. Yeah, so we have offsetting penalties on the play, so we we'll just redo the down. Second and ten. From the San Diego 19 yard line. Trent, what is Logan Woodside thinking about here? Quarterback for the San Antonio is number five. Can't see his name really. Woodside's at quarterback for the San Antonio Alliance. And he hands it off and he'll. Farrell will pick up about four yards on the play, bringing up third down. Third and six. Clock ticking currently at 440. San Diego needs to get a sack or something here. More of a turnover if they want to keep this a one score game. Takes the snap. He's going to scramble and he's going to be about a yard short of the first down. Should be fourth and one. So Mike Riley will send out his kicker, Nick Rose, who has been perfect. 356 left in the fourth quarter. Up 12 to 6. They will attempt a field goal to make it a 15 to 6 lead. Chip shot. 28 yard attempts from the right hash mark. Snap down. That kick is up and that kick is good. And Rose makes it. He gives San Antonio a nine point lead with 3.34 left in the fourth. So San Diego's going to have to score quickly and get the ball back somehow. So they have all three timeouts left. Mm. The San Antonio Commanders and the San Diego Fleet. How difficult so there's, yeah, they put him in last time. Nelson. Nelson at quarterback. False start, San Diego. That would be a five-yard penalty, bringing up first and 15 from their own 20-yard line. Come on, San Diego. I'm rooting for you, obviously. Nelson throws, and that's complete for about a nine-yard gain somewhere in that area. Philip Nelson, the man coming on in relief of Mike Berkovici, completes to his tight end, Gavin Escobar. But uh, Trent, this is tough. He's been watching all night. Second down. Second and seven. Three minutes left. Nelson throws. Incomplete pass. Lag on the play. Anyways, the offsides on the defense. Five yard penalty. Eight teams in the league, apparently. A 10 game season. Four teams go to the playoffs with one championship game. And the championship game's in Las Vegas this season, apparently, on the end of April. So. Nelson, deep drop. He's going to throw it in. He completes it out to midfield to number 12. Ford makes the reception. Big first down for the fleet, but they have to score quickly and score again. Two forty-eight left. Nelson drops, scrambles. He's gonna run it. 
and he slides for like a like one yard gain. And that's not going to do it with the clock running. Two and a half minutes left. Nelson going, hurry up. Nelson lines up. Jones or someone in the backfield. Nelson drops deep. He's scrambling to his right. He's going to run it. And he's close to the first down marker. I think a little short. And the TV coming me. And he might have had a two minute warning. San Antonio leads 15 to 6. Those bonds were definitely tested. San Diego plays a home next week versus Atlanta. First home game ever for the San Diego Fleet. But that's next week. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Final two minutes here in San Antonio inside the Alamo Dome as Mike Marks and the fleet right now down to 5-9. Well, tonight only the beginning for the Alliance because all season long, CBS Sports Network will be filling up your Sundays with more football, bringing you a matchup every week throughout the spring on the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. What a big night for Bill Foley and Charlie Eppersall, the co-founders of the Alliance. Two minutes left. Tiki, I think here obviously you need to get the first down, but in reality you need to get about 10, 12 yards. Go ahead and kick the field goal. Not to score twice. Quick throw, incomplete pass, will bring up a third and one, fourth and one, my bad. Go for it, run. They have to go for it. I can't. I just meant a post that's kicking the field goal. Well, yeah, it would be like 60 yards. Uh, and these pro kickers can at least get in an area. Fourth and one. This, could, this is the game if they don't make it. And he's going to be... Oh, they pushed him forward. Oh, good. Now six. Oh. And they're going to get to retry that. False start bringing up fourth and six for the San Diego Fleet. I don't see any real reason they'd be able to run it here. They're going to have to throw. Which ponders the question why he's not in a shotgun. Nelson throws. And they're going to get the first down to the 37 yard line. It's a pickup of 11. Nelson knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football as Orion Stewart was there for the tackle. Well, not only does it get the first down, but it gets out of bounds. Stops the clock. Right now, the time is the critical thing after getting that first down. That's a great play over there. Still three to one way or the other. Philip Nelson, the quarterback, in the shotgun now. Drops, looks, he's going to throw this one deep, and he got a man down to the 10 yard line. Huge throw to Brown. Easily in field goal range. Now they could get the touchdown. 
for at least go for the touchdown. And he gets down three feet, and you you know what I mean by that. <laughs> of course, he has two feet, but he got three feet in bounds before he went out. What am I even saying? First and goal at the nine. He's going to lob it, and it's picked off in the end zone by San Antonio, and that's going to do it. Intercepted by the defense in the end zone. And he's going to wish he could have that throw back. And San Diego goes from possibly getting a touchdown to... That throw is totally the wrong side of the guy. It should have been on the outside only. Yeah. That's just a great bad. play by the defender, and that's likely going to do it for San Diego. So that's something crazy happens. San Diego's going to go to 0 and 1. San Antonio's going to go to 1 and 0 on the season. And we'll see what happens from here on. San Diego has three timeouts, though, so the game's not over yet. The wrath probably just whistled it late. Third and final, they have all three. No, nah, he misspoke. It was, he was looking at the you know, challenge, what are the commanders' time? Yeah. Here in so many years. First, the Saints played those uh, three games here at the Alamo Dome after oh. the Spreads final and Hurricane. Looks Chile like our home team's going to lose their. First ever game ever. Inaugural game. Inaugural game, but <laughs> that's okay because they're going to win the first championship, right? Give some, you get some. I go to a game this season. It would be fun going to an inaugural season of a new professional team. potentially from an opening night victory. And this commander's defense, guys. San Diego, of course, will be home next Sunday versus Atlanta. Oh, pick. Is the area 51? Yeah. In this one, like the NFL, they have like all these guys mic'd up a lot more. So you hear the coaches and players talking. And they're going to run it, and it's going to be short. So it's not technically over, but San Diego's going to have to pull out a miracle if they want to win this. But I guess stranger stuff has happened in life. Crazy stuff has happened. Hmm. I said we haven't had one viewer in a live stream. No. Probably because no one knows about this league. Zero views, zero likes. That's all right. Tied out San Antonio. One eleven left in the ball game, and they will be punting the ball back to San Diego. Leading 15 to 6. Oh, 
Somebody's got to know that. That's. Yeah. That's, uh, hey, guess what? And Rolex says well. Bring it up in the media. Down on the sidelines continues. Missed the pad. And he returns it to the 45, so if they can get in the field goal range, they'll at least have a chance to get the ball back with an onside attempt. I'm not sure if they have any special rules for their onside thing. Mostly because I've never seen one, and I never. I haven't really read up on the rule book, so just found this out tonight. I saw the game listed on the TV schedule. One hundred one left. Well, they gave him a good spot. Ball on the forty-eight yard line, forty-nine yard line. Oh, onside conversion. Hurry up, you guys. I'd actually prefer that to an onside kick. Did you hear that? Onside conversion. Oh, not an onside kick. Flag on the play. He's going to the end zone. And it's incomplete. They weren't lined up properly. I think he knew he had the free play. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Not a good throw there. Offside. Yeah. Five yard penalty on the defense. <laughs> yep, way off sides. It was Tyrone Holmes who lost his helmet on the previous play. So the penalty will mark it at the commander's 35 yard line, but 35 seconds left. And so they need to pick up about five yards to give themselves a shot at the field goal. Because from here, it's about a 52, 53 yarder. Now they're professionals, so they can make that, but. And that was a very dangerous pass. You got to go towards the sideline, and then if you don't get it, kick the field goal so you have time if you pick up the onside conversion. <laughs> Second and five. 28 seconds left. San Diego's down 15 to six. Ball on the 35 yard line of San Antonio. Nelson in the gun. One second. Time's up. Delay of game. Frustrated made for Mike Mars continues. This commander's defense got six sacks and three interceptions. Another five yard penalty on San Diego. I don't know what they're doing. They're trying to, like, now they need 20 yards just to get back into field goal range. Oh, my bad. More like, more like 10 yards, but 10 yards to get back to where they were a minute ago. So 15-yard pass, hopefully. And then they can kick a field goal to Nelson. He's going to throw it. He's tackled in bounds. In bounds. Eight seconds, seven seconds, six seconds, five, and that's the game. He's just going to leave it for Hex. Pick. And the defender looks hurt. And it's kind of dumb to get hurt on the last play of a meaningless game. Because they were up two scores. And 
San Antonio is going to win 15 to 6 because San Diego couldn't have won regardless. And now there's going to be untimed down, even though it's meaningless. Fourth quarter, zero seconds left, extra play. And 28 on the Commanders is injured, unfortunately, after making that pick. I hope he's all right. Like a very slow walk. He and he's walking he's off the field, so hope he just got the wind knocked out. Yeah. Hard hits. San Antonio's going to go to 1-0. San, oh. San Diego's going to drop to 0-1, oh and, and we still got one play left. <laughs> and <laughs> there's the Gatorade bath. First Gatorade bath in Alliance history, and it's Mike Riley. <laughs> Gatorade bath for winning your first ever game. Nelson drop. He's under pressure. It's rolling. Throwing it to the end zone, and it is. It's nearly picked. Incomplete. San Antonio is going to win 15 to 6. In the first game of it. Going to 1 and 0. Inaugural season of the Alliance Football League. Great job to them. San Diego will be at home next week versus Atlanta and might stream a little bit of that. Logan Woodside 